Hey guys, so I am working on the postnatal ward tomorrow and essentially that is where ladies are taken after they've had baby. Um, the duration of the time they spend there is different but I'm just preparing myself to work there in a new hospital and I learned some interesting things that I'm going to share with you guys. The women have certain checks done after they've had the baby. Um, some of these are routinely, some of these can be every four hours, um, every hour depending on what's happening with the woman. And part of this includes assessment of the uterus. So basically, a midwife will palpate the woman's uterus to see if it's contracted well. So a uterus that is well contracted essentially feels like a golf ball. So it feels hard and round, and after birth it's expected to be just below the umbilicus. Um, so that is palpated, and then also you check the woman's pads to see, to check her blood loss and the amount of it. Um, and I was just thinking, okay, we do this, but why do we do all of this? Um, so I'm going to share with you guys some of the stuff we've learned. And look, I've made so much notes today. Um, I will make posters and all of that to help me with my learning. So a well-contracted and empty uterus is just like an empty sac with a mus muscular structure. Um, and essentially this happens as there is a reduction in the hormones. So HCG hormone, estrogen, progesterone are all reduced. And um, now oxytocin has been flowing due to skin to skin with baby and um, the birth of the placenta. But now another hormone is in the is in the game. And this hormone is prolactin. And this hormone um, helps with the letdown process of like milk coming in and colostrum. So yes, prolactin is in the game and that's partly why it's important for the placenta to be birthed and for the uterus to be well contracted. A uterus that is not well contracted is quite dangerous though as it can cause postpartum hemorrhage. So how can it cause postpartum hemorrhage? It is not contracted properly which means vasoconstriction is not occurring. So the blood vessels are just free to bleed just free to bleed like that. So it's important to ensure that your woman's uterus is contracted well, which is why we palpate the fundus to see where it's at, to see um, whether it's soft, whether it's hard, because those are indications of a well-contracted or a not well-contracted uterus. The risk of postpartum hemorrhage increases the more babies you have as well, because I think it is more difficult well the uterus has been stretched more times this is just me like thinking it through but the uterus has been stretched how many times or it's been stretched before so for it to contract down may take longer and that's why a uterus uterotonic drug is advised such as syntometrin because syntometrin actually um literally causes the uterus to clamp down very quickly it's very fast acting um, and if there are any contraindications, other drugs, other uterotonic drugs can be given as well. So with how the uterus should be feeling, a woman can feel after pains, but for her to be complaining of like her abdomen feeling tem tender or palpating and it feels soft or anything, that shows that there's an issue there. Um, and after pains is normal because, um, because basically when a woman is breastfeeding anyway it causes her uterus to contract just because of those hormones that have literally just been reduced and the hormone that also has now come into play prolactin so yes so the lochia which is the discharge from the vagina changes um and this change um, kind of mirrors what's also happening with the uterus and I didn't understand how these things were linked so much before but I now understand this is it's interesting so at three to four days yeah the lochia is well the color changes with individuals but the consistency of it and the density of it should be consistent with the woman you're looking after so ask her has the color changed and stuff because if you're looking at someone's lochia and let's say like it's bright red you might and it could have been it could have been brown or pink before that would be an indicator of hmm there's something a bit weird there or if it's been bright red throughout that shows you that um that's like the consistency of it if that makes sense but um, i'll tell you what um what basically i've learned not that the colors mean but what happens in a few days um afterwards um after the placenta has been birthed and with the uterus contracting as well so at three to four days um the red blood cell what should be on the woman's pad is um often red lochia but changes like i was saying but it's basically 
the red blood cells from the placenta healing site, um, meconium and fetal cell remnants. So that all creates the color and that's what's in the pad at three to four days. At um, seven to 10 days, um, there are more white blood cells there and that's as the healing is going on as well at the placental site. Um, discharge from the placental site and also cervical mucus and at 10 to 28 days decidual, decidual cells and epithelial cells are present um, and that's all to do with the uterus as well um, the decidua is in the uterus endometrium so um, yes and then the epithelial cells are all like to do with like healing um, and that's found on the surface of the uterus as well um, white blood cells and cervical mucus. So if it's a textbook kind of low here, it's probably gonna go from red to pinkish brownish to white. But some women may go from red to pink so quickly that you don't that if you've been looking after you don't really notice. That's why you have to ask them. And there are specific questions you ask a woman as well. So you ask, is your blood loss more or less than previously? Have you passed any clots? If so, how big are the clots? Encourage her to take pictures of any clots that she may pass. Um, because initially the blood loss is actually blood and necrotic tissue anyway. Um, so yeah, um, does she have any concerns about her blood loss? Um, is it lighter or darker than before? And it is also very important to encourage good hygiene. So like, hand washing is very important before and after touching your pad because if not you can actually give yourself an infection so yeah i learned so 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 much so in a postnatal check that is why you palpate the uterus um and that is why you also ask about their blood loss and have a look at the blood loss and the color of it and the density of it so yeah thank you for listening to my sermon hope you learned something